right, welcome back to Project Sport. Um, as I think I mentioned in the previous video, I managed to get hold of a, a Blue and Me unit for 40 quid plus four pounds on it postage. Um, it's a different serial number on it. That's, where are we? I've got the top of the old one here. So the old one was 519-53535. This one's 518-57617. So I'm not sure what year car this came out of. Um, it doesn't actually, can't actually see a, a date on any of the stickers, but um, there were only two types of these. Um, so I'm hoping this has come out of a later car. So I'm going to give it a give it a bash and see uh, if it's going to work. So I've got to take all the back seats out again, take that panel off again. I'm not going to film. Obviously, I did that before. Um, the only other thing I've found out since is that there are also uh, two fuses that uh, that, ser that serve this. When I had a problem with a previous car that I sold, um, but it didn't work at all. I changed it. Still didn't work. I gave up. Um, buyer accepted the fact that it didn't work. Uh, I have, as I say, I've since found out that there are two fuses on the uh, BCM, uh, which is the one that's uh, under the passenger side, under the um, parcel shelf for the, on the passenger side. Um, so, if it doesn't, if I put this in and it doesn't power up, then I should check those fuses and see if they've blown. If they have, I might even get give the uh, person I sold the other one to a call, get her to bring it down and uh, see if the, those fuses have blown. When I was trying to figure it out then, I couldn't find any reference to any fuses, um, but uh, someone on one of the forums has uh, thankfully, uh, helpfully said that there are two that serve it. So it's certainly worth a look. So for the time being, uh, we are going to get all those seats out, and then we'll, uh, I'm not going to fit it, I'm just going to plug it in, and then fire it up and see what happens. So we'll be back by the magic of uh, YouTube in a second. I only took a few minutes, about five, six, seven minutes, something like that. So, okay, right, so we've, uh, I've taken off all the tape that I put around that, because as we know that sort of was okay. Um, no damage to it at all, visibly anyway. Um, so I've got the new one here, so I can't really do this one-handed, so I'm just gonna quickly set the tripod up, um, put this on the tripod and then we'll uh, connect it up and see what we... So, what we're gonna do, not, so I'm not gonna put it in position for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug it in which way around it goes. Right, that's plugged in. Just gonna let it hang there for a minute. I'm gonna reconnect the battery and uh, fire it up to see if we can get it to go. Right, reconnect the battery. That's reconnected. Use the wobbly camera. Right, so in theory, turn the ignition on, turn the volume down. The uh, might have to fire up MES. And um, is it doing? In theory, it should uh, give us a flashing mileage. I've got the doors open, so that doesn't help. It's not coming up with the mileage. If I press the start, oh, here we go. No, it's not. So to me, that means that means it's probably not going to work. So maybe those fuses have gone. So we'll try it anyway. So the radio's on. Uh, let's turn the volume up a little bit. Press the voice button. Ah, blue and me voice. Phone. No media found. Yeah, it's working. Phone. Searching for connection. Try again later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Help. The commands available are message reader, navigation. It works. Settings. Or cancel. Settings. Settings. The commands available are user data, pairing, advanced features, and exit. Pairing. Hmm. Okay. Pairing. User pairing in progress. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I would say, obviously, I'm using my phone to record this, so I'm not, I can't do the pairing, but I would say that's working. Uh, but just to make sure, um, I'm going to uh, stop recording and I'm going to do a pairing with my phone and see if it actually uh, recognizes it. Phone. Telephone. The commands available are call, followed by the name, dial. Followed by the number, redial, or call back. Call 
Paul. Give name or say <laughs> dial number. Uh, call Tracy. Call Kirsty Mel. No. No. <laughs> that was someone at work. I don't want to call her. So it works basically. It took me about three. Let's turn the volume down. It took me about three attempts to um, get it to uh, connect, um, but it's done it in the end. Uh, so I know it's working now. So it's connected to my phone. So I won't be fitting that other stereo. We're back to factory standard, and it's not even flashing, which is which does surprise me. So that's really good news. Uh, no no uh, fuses to change. Nothing. So we're going to put it all back, um, and we're going to got to rivet it back in so I get my rivet gun out and uh, we'll rivet the the uh, unit back in and then we can put it all back together again right I'm trying to figure out now from memory how this goes in uh, okay let's have a look I've forgotten which way around it goes and where it hooks I might have to undo that first and put it in afterwards so we'll get that back in. Actually it's that way around isn't it? Oh that's it like that. That's it, it goes in like that. Okay, so if we plug it in. Ooh, okay. Plug it in. Battery's disconnected again by the way. tough on the hands. I have got a, a one that goes on my compressor but I haven't got a clue how to use it. I've never used it and I will eventually one day get around to using it. But it's only three rivets so we'll do it the old fashioned way. So earlier on, I had a little go at the polishing of the um, of the back bumper. If you remember, there were some marks on there that wouldn't uh, I couldn't get out by hand, and I had a go at the machine polishing. It didn't come out, so I've painted it. So uh, tomorrow I'll um, I've, it's had three coats now. It's come out all right actually. Uh, tomorrow I'll um, I'll let it let it dry properly overnight, and then tomorrow I'll uh, I'll come and uh, put some clear coat on it. Oh, excuse you. But uh, yeah, it looks good. Pleased with that. And that'll probably all fall off overnight, all that tape, but never mind. I'll leave it on there for the time being. Um, so there's not really much else to do on this one now at the moment. Um, obviously still got to have the roof done. Uh, the wheels have still got to be done. Um, I've got wheel paint. I've got three cans of wheel paint. Uh, I forgot to get any primer though, so I need to go, I need to order some primer before I do those. Um, 
so I can't really do those at the moment. So now the Bluetooth's working, I've uh, got that bit of painting done, apart from giving it a clean on the outside, getting the roof done, uh, it's, almost, it's pretty much done. The old bath is uh, still in the paint shop, so I'm hoping to swap it, swap it over and get this one done. Uh, and once I get that back, oh, I just realized I missed that. I was gonna do that as well today, wasn't I? I forgot that, I'll have to do that tomorrow now. Um, so yeah, we'll finish that tomorrow, get that done. Uh, get the rest of the car cleaned up, ready for the um, ready for the paint shop, I guess. And uh, as soon as soon as the old bath's back, I'll uh, hopefully swap this one over and get that roof sorted out, and then it'll be done, and it'll be going up to sale. Um, so uh, that's it's only a short video today. Uh, it was just to show you the Bluetooth bit and the little bit of the bumper. Um, there won't be too much more to come on this. There won't be another video on this until I get it back from the paint shop. So uh, got a video to come up of the. Uh, of the convertible which will be up uh, in a couple of days and um, that's it for the time being so uh, once again thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and we'll see you in a few days